Hello, this is Julia Whittup with Creative Journey, and we have with us today Brad Molner of Modern Healthcare. Hi, Brad. Hi. Hi. So, so tell us a little bit about what you do and what is going on with Modern Healthcare. It's actually Modern Health Coach, but there's a lot going on. Can <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Modern Health Coach is, a, is my business I started over seven years ago. Uh, and it was out of the need of to heal my own healing crisis, to overcome my own healing crisis when I had uh, sports injuries, ice hockey accident on the knee, car crash, uh, chiropractic as a kid. So I was a kind of a physical mess after these two surgeries in 03 and 05, knee and hip. Um, and I was in New York City at the time, working environmental career, um, clean up Ground Zero in 16 other states. And uh, New York City Ground Zero is the World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. all the buildings around are pretty nasty but you know uh, what I learned from that career was your environment is square one in health and people can get um, inundated with toxins uh, throughout the day and that's kind of a silent killer so um, but anyways I had the, the hip and knee problem the physical problems uh, yeah, after my environmental career was going good I actually went back to school for kinesiology which is muscle test and energy balance traditional Chinese uh, uh, medicine based and uh, moved out to California and started Modern Health Coach out in Venice Beach, uh, where I lived for about five, six years. Um, and then uh, what I put together is what is Modern Health Coach? Why would people care about that? Well, it's just next level solutions, better ways to make yourself feel well uh, and not succumb to the typical symptoms and issues that people are coming off from today. And to give you a higher quality of life, not just hanging in there, but vibrant, uh, long, you know, vitality and longevity is, is the essence of what I do. So um, I put together 30 manufacturers with products. I do services myself with electromedicine, uh, kinesiology, and different energy work. Um, and then the information that I give out uh, on the blog and the videos is self-correcting information. Uh, you know, there's a lot of myths and disinformation out there. One study says this, one study says that. So. I try to cut through that and give the good people out there that, that want to know the right information, the right information so you can go forward and not sideways or backwards in your life because the better you feel, the more you get done. And there's a lot that goes into feeling well, like a doctor when he looks at you, you're not sick, you don't have an issue, so you're okay. But beyond that is a whole nother range of levels that you can attain with the right choices and food, air, water. Uh, you know, where you live, what you do, and how you think, and what you say all make up your total score of vitality and longevity, how far you can go in life. Mm -hmm. No matter what you're doing, you need your health to be able to sustain you throughout the day, and hopefully, you know, provide the energy and the thought processes and the physical mechanisms to get everything done. So, um, you know, with my kind of focus on that is one is the environment, because there's so many toxins that uh, can, can do you in from invisible mold, uh, radon gas, uh, chemicals, the formaldehydes, the glues, and all these manufactured homes and Chinese products is appalling. Um, you know, California's starting to get on board with some of this stuff, but they off gas and they, and they, and they inundate you. So, you know, we clean up your house and then with the health aspect, you know, it's the minerals and the microbes. I mean, the uh, minerals, you know, the elements of you know, we do a hair tissue mineral analysis and we can look um, um, you're excuse me you're cutting out could you maybe better move closer to the mic sure okay sorry it That's started cool. cutting out can you hear me now okay yeah okay um so, so you start with the house the house well cleaning up the house as you said okay just want me to start into it now or did we cut or no go ahead <laughs> <laughs> okay the house so yeah your your how your environment is square one in health and your home what it's built of the materials that off gas from it um the contaminated soils beneath it that can vaporize up in your space the whole environmental component through my environmental experience that i can bring to the health side of things and now on the health side of things after your environment's clear and clean you're not doing yourself in every day and you got to get rid of all your nasty shampoos and hair conditioners and dyes and 
uh, you know, pesticide, cotton shirts, you need to wash those before you wear them. There's a lot of things that go into it. Once you get your environment clean, you need your air filter, your water filter, um, and then you get into the food and the supplements. And, and the food and the supplements, I have, you know, put together programs for people on breakfast, lunch, and dinner, what to eat, how to get the results you want, whether you're trying to lose weight, trying to be an athlete, trying to overcome cancer or diabetes or some other common ailment, there's, there's um, undertones that uh, are the root of the problem. And that's what you got to go after. You don't chase the tail with your symptom, say, hey, I got a rash here. Okay, put some cream on it. No, if the rash is telling me I got to get some toxins out that I've been overloaded with. So your body's, you got to speak the body language. Um, and that's <clears throat> where kinesiology helps with the muscle test. You can ask your subconscious, which knows everything and does not lie, but you got to access the right information. Uh, with a simple ring test like this or a muscle test, like a classic one you'd see mm -hmm. arm, um, you know, you can do that yourself. And, and another one is leaning forward and leaning backward with things that you want or don't want with a food item. And that's a real easy one. I start with people out with that. So I teach you how to fish. I teach you um, first knowing what to not include in your life, what to exclude, what to get rid of, what to eliminate. And then we add what to put in good. So I was saying uh, with the microbes and the um, uh, minerals, minerals, every element in the universe is made of a mineral and you're and through a hair test. You can determine what toxic ones you have, what major and trace ones you have or should have um, in your composition of your body. Um, that's pretty important. And then also the, with the microbes, you know, uh, you have a lot of bacteria, more bacteria in your gut than, than human cells. So it's kind of gnarly nine to one, I think is the ratio of, you know, what, 75 trillion human cells and you know more of that is bacteria somehow so uh the bugs there's more nerves in your stomach going to your brain than from your brain down to your stomach uh so when you get a gut instinct you need to listen to that and it'll help you get at the take the right fork in the road right so it's, it's a it's a it's a path and you got to learn these things and you really can't just take the pill you if you want to get well and you want to overcome you have to uh re Kind of configure yourself just learn a few things not you know i that's why I, I did 20 some thousand hours of research since 2003 after my knee surgery didn't go right i turned my science degree loose on hell solved my own problems and became a career but i'm saving you the 20,000 hours i give you 20 hours and i can you know um download you with the right information then you can put it on your refrigerator and a spreadsheet say next to your blender to put the right superfoods in your drink you know kind of dummy proof it you can put this stuff around your house um, until you get the groove and know what to take and what not to do. Um, mm -hmm. and then, folks, I, I tell them, you know, it's, it's uh, the, like all the infants, salt's bad, fat's bad, all these things. This, you know, that's a whole nother story. Okay. But whoever's paying for the science can make it say whatever they want. And having done environmental work for 17 years, I can tell you that firsthand. Uh -huh. that are paying for it can tell you what you want. So, Sorry, Julie, were you going to say something? No, that was, I was just agreeing with you. Right, the, jo the junk science out there, whoever pays for the science can make it say whatever they want. So you need to consider the source. Uh, if it's the AMA, or the FDA, you know, these guys are siding with the drug companies. They're protecting the drug companies. They're not protecting the consumer. Maybe after they use this as guinea pigs and a million people die of overdose on pain pills, like everyone has, uh, have been doing, you know, with the oxy perks and Vicodins, which is heroin based, uh, you know, synthetic heroin from the lab, but it's legal. So FDA, AMA protect these guys. We're on our own. You need plant. I just go back to the plants. I'm not taking the pill, I'm the plants. And when I can do it with a person, I can get you 50, 60 plants in a day that you consume with a powder drink and regular greens from the grocery store but you can have, you know, two liquid meals and get 50 some plants in and they're tasty. Uh -huh. I crap you not. They are tasty drinks. I make them to be that way or they wouldn't go down my throat. So uh, there's things you can do. There's little tricks, you know, in the kitchen, uh, you can be efficient with time, efficient with um, your, your food choice. And when you go to the grocery store, it's a whole nother deal. Stay in the outside rim. Don't go in the middle. Just get your produce and some grass-fed beef and butter and or whatever else you're into and get out of there don't go in the middle stay to the rim so there's a lot of um you know that goes into it i kind of uh 
have taken it all in at Modern Health Coach. And again, you can check out the video in the blog for more information on specific things that I get into with oxygen or microbes and, and different ways to um, kind of reboot yourself, you know, a 2.0. There's mm -hmm. a lot of new information out there, and uh, I think I got a pretty good finger on the pulse of what would work for most people. Um, because I, I know everyone's different. Everyone likes to say, I like this. And, but we all have the same chemistry, the same biological needs, the same emotional scale that we're dealing with, the same love and fear balance in life, you know. So we're all more alike than we think, even though we're different. So I work on the commonalities and what people can do, and then we can specify it to this symptom or that gene. And I don't believe in the gene is the thing. It's uh, you can control your destiny. It, it takes more work, but it, it's possible. And you can overcome a bad gene with a lot of work. But the people like the pill. It's easier. They don't like the work. But you can't sub this job out for your health. There's no one that's going to do a better job than you, your primary care health provider, right here in these hands and this head, heart and gut, that when you, you know, I'd say teach you to fish, when you, when you start reeling them in and putting them in your boat, the fish, uh, you're going to see results. And then you get excited, then you want more, then you're on the path, and then it's a whole can of worms. Your life has changed forever, infinitely better. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm kind of interested in some of these things. What are they? Like this pH voltage dissolved oxygen principle? What is that? Uh, that's, that's a great one. I'm glad you asked because, you, you know, people are always worried about, let me just tell you what it is, pH voltage dissolved oxygen. The higher your pH is on 0 to 14, 7 being the middle, people are slightly offline. 7.365 your blood is always that pH. 7.35, 7.45. If not, for a few hours at that pH, you can die. So your body fights like heck to keep your body at that pH level. And then, so the higher your pH, if you're alkaline, one, 99% of people are acidic, they're below seven, algae, bacteria bloom up. Uh, I used to be a lifeguard in the pool. The job was to keep the water above seven pH. We add baking soda and, and take, keep, keep the water above seven, and it wouldn't it'd be clear, clean, no bacteria. It gets below seven, it blooms up. Like the yellow, you got to close the right same in you um, mm. so you keep it above seven and then the higher the ph the higher the voltage see ph and voltage are directly related um it's like the ions a ph is a negative ion so the higher the more alkaline the more negative ions it has the more acidic the more positively charged it is and the less ions or negative ions it has or electrons i should say uh so it takes things Negative ions like bricks on a the house, they put things back and they make, you need the negative ions. You go to the beach, you go to the mountains, those are negative ions, those are electrons without a nucleus. But that's what you need. Uh, so the higher the pH, the higher the voltage. pH voltage directly related. And because of that, higher the voltage, now you can hold more oxygen, dissolved oxygen. When you take uh, a breath, you, you, know, you, you hold more oxygen. So if you can stay alkaline, which is a challenge in itself, then you can hold more voltage, like an alkaline battery, Energizer Bunny, right? Uh -huh. You can hold more oxygen. You can hold more oxygen. Um, you know, oxygen's king. Every microbe that you don't want in your body will die with the proper amount of oxygen. And the alkalinity. You know, Otto Warburg, Nobel Peace Prize, 1950 or 47. You know, oxygen or uh, cancer cannot survive in an alkaline, oxygen-rich environment. Problem is, we're all acidic and anaerobic. So the mm. voltage dissolved oxygen principle, you know, gets past like the distraction of fat, protein, carbs, you know, people throw that in there. But what you want to be eating for is alkaline and aerobic. Um, so oh, that's yeah. that principle is, you know, uh, pretty important. And no one really knows the relation between pH and voltage and oxygen. Yeah, that was new to me. Cool. So these are things that just little mind benders that are outside the box that you don't pick up in the textbook that I've made a career out of pulling together that, you know, when you simplify it, it can be like, oh, yeah. And then you can once you get on the alkaline oxygen type diet or lifestyle, um, you know, the energy levels just shoot up the roof. Uh, your focus is like a laser. You know, it's pretty exciting, like kind of like when you're doing a cleanse, you start juicing and you, you get past the second, third day. And I call it, you get on your horse and you really start getting some results and you start, I mean, you're never more on point when you're just going through a five or 10 day juice fast, a feast, if you want to say.
because you just drink as much as you can for mm -hmm. that, as much as you need to yeah for you know as many days as you can and the longer you cleanse and fast the deeper cellular hygiene you get and cellular hygiene is something i'm into with with the you know the clogging up and the microbes of, of the people's blood and plasma that is thicker and 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 bound up with stuff that should not be there or has made a home there so it, it takes work you know it's fun to put the toxins in it's fun to live the life and all that and then afterwards you're left monday with a hangover what are you going to do about it here's here here you go so um people, what are the some of the best detox methods what are some of the best well sweating your your biggest organs your skin so um you need to sweat and i got a sauna you know for like four or five hundred dollars it was emf low they have a low sauna a low a uh, regular sauna for 200 bucks you stick your head out it's what 140 degrees for half hour you come out dripping bullets i mean sweating bullets right so sweating number one and then the rebounding on the on the trampoline just the little rebounder uh NEDAC and another company are really good ones i have no affiliation with great it's because um each time you bounce two or three G forces, two or three times as much as the gravity that you're feeling right now. I call it smacking the ketchup bottle out, getting all that stuff out of your cells every time you bounce. You can do your arms different ways while you're bouncing and crawl, alternate and feel into it. Um, so that's a really good way. And then the coffee enema uh, with, you know, uh, garrison therapy, cure cancer, in World War One, with juicing and coffee enemas. You know, put in the good, take out the bad. And that's a real simplified way with a coffee enema, which is meant to cleanse the liver. Something about the caffeine or in the coffee uh, dumps the liver and um, it's a great way to detox. Because your liver is a big detox organ. Your liver, which empties in your gallbladder and like the number one, two or three surgery in this country is gallbladder removal because the liver is your filter and the gallbladder is your filter trap. When the liver is full, it dumps all the crystals and stones and green peas into your gallbladder which after a while calcify end up showing up on an x-ray and then they just take that out. No, you can get rid of the stones and acid crystals by doing coffee enemas. There's a liver flush, you know, there's that cleansing fasting uh, protocol. So again, rebounding coffee enemas, juicing, uh, green vegetables, stay off the sugar while you're doing that. I know it's tough, but that's really important because the bugs and cancer feed off that sugar. That is whether it's fructose, sucrose, glucose, whatever crose, uh, sugar ends up. So you want to avoid that. That's a really big deal. Um, and then an inversion table is a real good one too. Just tilting yourself up and down uh, is really good to get the lymph going as well. And the lymph is your dirty dishwater, right? You have three times, uh, two to three times as much lymph as you do blood, but there's no heart to pump it. And so all the lymph nodules are in your armpit, elbows, and your joints. So you got to move move you don't take out you don't do the uh, uh dishes and then the bugs show up if you're not doing the dishes same thing with the colon if you're not having two three bowel movements per meal or per per day um you can back up and you know john wayne had 55 pounds of undigested fecal matter in his colon elvis had 35. they're taking pain pills they're eating steak they're drinking booze all these things knock off your your flora your good flora and they can, and then the bugs, the bad bugs dominate your track, then you're craving sugar, then you're walking around like a zombie, not yourself. So you got to take control of your bio terrain, your, you know, alkaline, oxygenated, as close to, or, or as good as you can get. Uh, and minerals, every disease is traced back to a mineral shortage, right? And um, Linus Pauling, I think, Nobel Prize for that. So if the soil doesn't have any more, we quit using poop as fertilizer in the 50s and started using petrochemicals. And the, the plants are lacking the proper minerals. So guess what happens? The bugs show up, just magically show up. Oh, you don't have your NPK right or these trace minerals aren't in your plants. Weak plants attract pests. Sick people attract bugs. I mean, it's just, you can see the, the principles that carry over in and it's kind of a quantum physics approach that I play. It's all about the field. It's not about uh, take a pill, get a result. It's about your field, your, your skin on out to your aura, wherever far that extends, six feet in your know, arms reach or beyond, hopefully. Your heart goes out 30, 40 feet in front of you, apparently, Greg Braden said. But 
your field. You need to saturate your field with the right information and, 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 you know, eliminate the people or the circumstances in life that, that hinder that, you know, white light is your field. You want to, you know, meditate on that, kind of give your higher focus to that so you can keep it all in track because you can get off balance and overwhelmed with everything I'm, I would bring to somebody's table uh, to get well to overcome. So you need to um, have the higher point of focus and then bring it all down back to the minerals and the microbes and, and the alkaline and the oxygen. So that's kind of my general approach to uh, getting folks well in a nutshell. And there's a lot that goes into it with different um, things that I offer, whether services or products, but the information is kind of a, um, a change from the norm, I guess. Um, and so, could you tell us the, your website address again so that the yeah. listeners can go there? Yeah, please do. Modernhealthcoach.com. That's modern, M-O-D-E-R-N, health, H-E-A-L-T-H, coach, C-O-A-C-H.com. Product, services, info. The info is free. Please go to town on it. You got questions? Email me. You got a question? Email's probably the best, and then we can talk after that. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, that's the bottom yeah. line. It's a sick, broke uh, planet, and I have a lot of solutions for people if they're willing to listen. All right. Thank you so much for being with us today. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you, Julia, for the time and keep doing what you're doing and, and, and enlightening folks, excuse me, uh, the ways that you do and I'll keep doing it here. And I'm not too far from in Eastern Arizona. So we're, we're not too Oh, far. so you're close by. Well, maybe you can come to one of our retreats. Yeah. Yeah. We'll vice versa. There, right. there. That'd be good. That's keep it, keep it up. And thanks for the opportunity. And, folks out there if you have any questions you can go to the website there's contact info on there and uh get to know me and you'll find you're better off for having done that i hope so thanks okay again and join us at creativejourney.org there you go see you guys